Hey there, in today's video I will be reviewing the ordinary 100% plant derived squalene. So um, I think people just call it squalene oil but the ordinary has been very clear not to label it as an oil, they just define it as a stable hydrocarbon so i'll just call it a product <laughs> so the first thing is the packaging um, and it comes in this simple um, dark glass dropper bottle um, and i think it only comes in the 30 ml size so if you buy it from the website it's ten dollars ten us dollars i got it um, locally in nairobi for 1600 kenya shillings so the markup was not too bad um so when it comes to the packaging i'm pretty okay with it i think that oils and serums if they're not in opaque like totally opaque packaging i feel like this is the ideal uh, packaging for me um so that they don't oxidize um so i don't mind the bottle at all um for the cost i would say that so far um, the way I've used it, a little goes a really long way, so it's lasted me a long, long time. And so I would say against how long it served me, um, it's not too bad a cost. Generally, most of my products are around, are under 2,000 Kenya shillings or um, $20, US dollars. So that's the range I like to keep all my products under, unless it's like a serum and um, it's really really doing the most for me um, yeah that's about how much I spend per product actually I'm curious how much you're willing to spend for your skincare products like each step or just in total like what would you, your budget for your products be uh, let's talk about the scent it has a very light scent you it's almost fragrance free honestly I don't it doesn't have a very distinct scent at all which is something i really like i don't enjoy fragrance in my skincare and it's not from a place of like irritation or allergy necessarily um but it's more so just i don't like strong um scents in my skincare products i'd much rather have a very <laughs> neutral skincare um, experience fragrance free and then i can intentionally you use perfume or a spray in my overall <laughs> um, like body care routine so I prefer to go fragrance free um, with most of my products um, so the next thing would be the consistency so it has a very very light oil like consistency it's quite um, runny and it's not greasy at all like it does not leave a greasy feeling behind which can be really annoying with certain um, oils or oil like um, products so I really like that it does not have a, a greasy feeling and it's um, a very very light product the the first thing is squalene is actually something that is naturally found on our skin and the good thing about it is it acts as an emollient and if you've watched my moisturizing video you know that i talked about how um, the benefit of emollients which is what most oils fall under in your moisturizing routine is they help to prevent excessive um, loss of hydration so they don't hydrate but they do protect your skin from excessive um, water loss so it does serve as a really good emollient and it's generally unproblematic it will not clog your pores so it's non comedogenic and so it would work quite well for most skin types um, or all skin types um, the ordinary also says that it's great for your hair that it can prevent excessive breakage it can add shine and I think they say it can have an added boost of heat protection so I've not used it on my hair <laughs> personally but it's something to think about that you can use it both on in your hair and your skincare routines so personally how I've been using this product in my routine is firstly um, as a first step in cleansing so I like to use it to break down my eye makeup or if it's like a matte lipstick it really helps to break those down 
and since it's fungal acne safe it's coming really clutch in my routine because if you watch my videos or you've heard about fungal acne most oils fatty acids um, tend to trigger a fungal acne but squalene is one of the few that are fungal acne safe um the second way that i've been using it is actually um as a boost to my moisturizers so as i've been trying out fungal acne safe moisturizers uh what i found is with some of them is they just don't feel that um complete on their own um so adding a few drops to my moisturizer makes the moisturizer feel a bit more uh, complete and richer um, the other thing I would want to talk about is the sustainability of the brand. So DCM has a very extensive recycling program. So they have an in-store recycling program. You can send the empty packaging back to them and they will dispose of it accordingly. Um, but they also have a very clear guide on their website on how to um, dispose the packaging. So what I like about the this kind of packaging is you can just wash the bottles and then repurpose them and use them different in different ways in your house so i leave a link to a post a blog post on how to do that so that you can repurpose your empty packaging um, in your house so um in conclusion i would say like i have no complaints about this product you know generally when i do find i've i've had very few um, negative experiences with the products I've chosen to introduce into my skincare routine because I tend to just do a lot of research on them um, but um, with this particular product though it's unproblematic I wouldn't say it was life-changing um, and that's also okay <laughs> like I would not repurchase immediately because um, I can't live without it I would rather get a first cleanser that emulsifies that lathers and rinses off clean so instead of using this um, and I would also really like to have a moisturizer that I feel is complete on its own so for those two reasons like the way I've been incorporating it into my routine is not something I would want to have um, and I'd rather have fewer steps you know um, that are more effective than to spend an extra um, cost on a product to make these other um, steps a lot better for me so for those reasons I would not repurchase however I know that for those of you who may have fungal acne and you want to have an oil or something like an oil in your skincare routine I would say just look into um, squalane it can be a very nice addition to your skincare routine overall I would give it a solid four to five stars it's just simple there's no other ingredients it's no fuss it's to the point and then you can use it in so many ways in your routine so i'd love to hear from you if you have heard of squalane if you've used it before how you feel about it but i'd also love to know that if you don't use squalane like do you have an oil in your skincare routine if yes which oil and um do you like it i know for me before this before i really switched my routine around um rose hip oil was that girl for me and i feel like in terms of how it feels on my skin and works in my routine it's fairly similar to rose hip in terms of its um consistency and um non-greasy feeling so i like that um yeah so let me know in the comments down below thank you so much for watching always remember that your hair is your crown and your body is a temple embrace it love it and take care of it bye